origins of one of the America's oldest unsolved mysteries can be traced to August 1587, when the group of about 115 English settlers arrived on Roanoke Island, off the coast of what is now North Carolina. Later that year, it was decided that John White, governor of the new colony, would sail back to England in order to gather a fresh load of supplies. But just as he arrived, a major naval war broke out between England and Spain, and Queen Elizabeth I called on every available ship to confront the mighty Spanish Armada. In August 1590, White finally returned to Roanoke, where he had left his wife and daughter, his infant granddaughter and the other settlers. Three long years before, he found no trace of the colony or its inhabitants, and few clues to what might have happened apart from a single word crow at Tolan carved into a wooden post. White interpreted to mean the colonists had relocated to Crow at Tolan Island. Before he could follow this lead, rough seas and a lost anchor forced the rescue mission to return to England. The fate of more than 100 a colonists remains unknown. Investigations into the fate of the lost colony of Roanoke have continued over the centuries but no one has come up with a satisfactory answer. Croatoan was the name of an island south of Roanoke that was home to a Native American tribe of the same name. Perhaps, then, the colonists were killed or abducted by Native Americans. Other hypotheses hold that they tried to sail back to England on their own and got lost at sea, that they met a bloody end at the hands of Spaniards who had marched up from Florida or that they moved further inland and were absorbed into a friendly tribe. In 2007, efforts began to collect and analyze DNA from local families to figure out if they're related to the Roanoke settlers, local Native American tribes or both. Speculation that they may have assimilated with nearby Native American communities appears as early as 1605. Investigations by the Jamestown colonists produced reports that the Roanoke settlers were massacred, as well as stories of people with European features in Native American villages, but no hard evidence was produced. Interest in the matter fell on to decline until 1834, when George Bancroft published his account of the events in A History of the United States. Bancroft's description of the colonists particularly White's infant granddaughter Virginia Dare, cast them as foundational figures in American culture and captured the public imagination. Despite this renewed interest, modern research still has not produced the archaeological evidence necessary to solve the mystery. There are many theories but, no one can actually say, what have happened with those people. It is still an unsolved mystery.